Dobrý den. Dobrý den. Glad to see you again. Maybe so glad that you're asking me to say. Do you remember me from last year? My name is Terry. And we did some movement lessons from the Folding Christ method. It's a very big um, work, the Folding Christ work method. So I'll just say a few things about it. Um, it's an educational system about movement and awareness. And we use movement as our common language. We all move. And pretty much we all have the same equipment. Okay. We all have pretty much the same design. Yeah. But we have each one of us is really good. Because of our nervous system and because of our experience with life. Yeah. None of us, we are not the same. Yeah, so we, but we are using the movement as our common language, right? And the kind of lesson that we're going to do today is called Awareness Through Movement, which are the lessons, the group lessons, movement lessons, okay? And we will explore a proposal. I will give the proposal of the lesson. And each one will explore for themselves how you move how you organize yourself yeah, through paying attention. So we're going to pay attention and listen and go slow. The Father Christ method is not a therapy. It's not a technique. It's not a medicine. It's a method. Okay? And in, in the Falling Christ Method, there is a repertory, a very large repertory of human movement. And basically, it's divided into three categories. Okay? First category, we could say, has to do with all the movement that has to do with our infancy. Learning. How? Learning to learn. Yeah? Because we all are capable of learning through our experience. Yeah? That's how we do it. How we learned how to stand up and walk. No one told us how to do that. We were experimenting. Yeah. Curious to find out things yeah. about the external world. Because we're always in relationship with the external. Yeah. And another, the second category has to do with movements which are more functional. Like to differentiate 
to feel a difference. You understand? Mm -hmm. This is why. And it's called the Weber Fechner Law. Okay? Lower the stimulus, or lower the amount of stimulus, you make it very low. So the sensitivity, the smaller parts, the, the more delicate parts, the more sensitive parts, can come up and we can differentiate, we feel a difference. Okay? And this is the work. So sometimes you say, well, I don't feel like I'm doing anything. But you are. If you're paying attention, you're doing something. Okay? First, no forcing. Two, if you have pain, you have any pain, or you're uncomfortable, okay, with the work, stop, rest, take a break. Okay? Yeah? Why? Why do I say this? Why would I say that? The answer is you work with pain, right? Oh, it's just a little pain. I'll get over it. Right? Yeah. We all know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it's very, this is a very important issue because the pain and feeling uncomfortable takes up a lot of attention in our mind. And we listen to that and not to the other stuff. Okay? <coughs> Usually, if we have pain, it, it means that something's, something might, yeah, I might have something. Yeah? And if I work with pain or I'm really uncomfortable, I really don't like it, I won't learn. But yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll learn it, but it won't be a pleasure to learn. And learning, is a really pleasurable experience. Moving is a pleasure to move. Can you imagine not moving? It's really tough, yeah, not to move. Is that clear for everybody? So be gentle with yourself. Yeah, don't push it. Yeah. Be as gentle as possible. You're not obliged to do everything. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Okay, this is really important, so that you don't go against yourself. You don't want to do it, it's uncomfortable, don't do it. Rest. You need to rest, right? That's a function also, resting. We need to rest, it's part of ourselves, it's how we integrate, which is another concept, very important for the body of If you have pain, during the movements, rest, do less. Because pain takes up a lot of attention in the mind. Yeah. And our mind is what's paying attention to ourselves We're through the nervous system. Okay? When we have pain, it's pretty big, right? Have you had pain? Yes, sure. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. And it's telling me to stop. So respect yourself. Take care of yourself in your movement. You'll get the lesson anyway. Okay? It's not about performance. It's before. You understand? Yeah? The first part of our work today, we will do a listening, a short listening to very concrete things. Okay? And, um, I will ask you lots of questions as the lesson goes along, and you will explore, okay? We will lay down on our back, so let's lay down. And put the legs long and comfortable. Lengthen your legs, lengthen your arms alongside of you. Yes, when we separate a little bit the legs, it's let the muscles go. And your arms along down alongside of you. And put your arms in a place where they can just rest.
listen again to the breathing. Is it reaching deeper into you and reaching new places as you breathe in and as you breathe out? Yes, very good. Thank you for this. It's very important for all of us to be able to have time to notice and observe how we do something. Because we learn something from ourselves. Do you agree? I know what it is. Yeah. Možná, možná by se to mohlo udělat častic, trochu to, trochu to rozptýlí to mysl. Yes, I know, he likes it so much. Nezbaví se člověk asi úplně jako všeho, co v ní je a to, ale... How is your spine? And the spine is now working nicely, yeah? Is it nice to stand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's easier, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Stabil st stable. Stable. Mm -hmm. Yes, stability. We need stability. Yeah. Because sometimes during the day and during the work when we have to do lots of things, we gather tension and it, the tension goes up. So maybe we can have a way to bring it down. Yes. Something, the gravity, take us down to the ground. Thank God we have gravity, you know? Thank God, and we have the feet on the ground, and we're stable, yeah, and we can, we can be easy on top, but stable. Yeah. Is it clear? 
So now maybe we we free up some tension and the anti-gravitational path through the body is working nicer. Yeah. Yeah. You feel it? Yes. Now breathe and when you feel, take take this feeling to the walking. Take your awareness of your access to the walking. Go slowly. Would you like to say anything? Uh, I I had an relax before the lesson. I had an relax uh, this part of back, mm -hmm. uh, 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 mm -hmm. and now it's uh, relaxed. Good, mm -hmm. good. Don't change anything. 
right? Listen to your breathing and don't change it. Let it be, let it go. Don't think that you have to do it different than the way it already is. Right? You understand where I'm at? Yeah. So that's the reality. First of all, how is it now for you? And then you begin to, and then you start to do some movement, and the person says, Am I doing it correctly? I don't know if she's doing it correctly or not. You know, she's moving. And you know, she's lifting her head or lifting her shoulder or whatever it is. And she's lifting it. And she's asking if it's correct. And I'm saying, How is your shoulder blade? Is it coming off the floor? Is it going down on the floor? But is it correct? You understand? You get me? Right. She's. And so this thing. Is, is um, shadowing because for some reason in the mind it's going has to be correct. Can't we just leave that out the door? Leave it outside correct and not correct? You hmm? leave the inner critic out. Yeah, leave it alone. You can catch it back immediately. Don't <laughs> 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 Can we just stop bothering ourselves about what we're, what, yeah, do you understand? Can we just, oh, that's my shoulder blade. Oh, and it's sliding around on my ribs. How is that, how is that doing that? What if, what am I, what's going on? Is it, is it bumpy? Is it smooth? You understand? Mm -hmm. So it's the question. If we ask the question, we can't already know if it's correct or not correct or good or bad. How can you know? It's like that is. Yeah. Is that clear? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what is the attitude? Who's curious? Who's curious? Mm -hmm. Ask the question. Um, don't worry about the judgment. We all have to judge, and it's it is hard. Work. Yes, of course, judgment can be good for us. Of course it is. Yeah, but it's through the experience. So, I, I also did fundraise in the past, and it appeared, it appeared a lot of times to me that I really feel how, how much effect the, the exercises have on, on the release of my body and how the also the stimuli, stimuli through muscle tension goes away. Or go slower, and which is a very healthy and pleasant feeling. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I feel like the more the stimuli of tension goes away, the more I feel the, the spots where maybe a pain or blockage or mm -hmm. something is not so good, yes. the more I feel it like they could become very prominent uh -huh. and it's <coughs> distracting also. And I was wondering, like, um, during the exercises, even if they are so gentle, when the pain becomes so prominent, I feel like I get nervous and I want to yes. stop it. But I also know kind of if I continue, it will also do me well. And I'm wondering like how to deal with those yes. kind of situations. I understand. You have to negotiate with yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what I said this morning about pain takes up all of our attention. Okay, you can rest. You can do less. You know. um, I understand that you're wanting to go through it, maybe. But this is your choice. Also. Okay? You don't have to. You don't have to move with me, okay? This is very important. You're not, no one is obliged in any form of press lesson. You don't have to. You understand? Yeah? So, and it's true that when sometimes, when we begin to work with the Feldenkrais method, and the more you do, this happens, that the tonus comes down. You find an even tone through the body, but things come up. Yes, we find out something that we have, or you have, or she has, or I have. Yeah, this happens to us. Yes, we all, all of our experiences in our life, all of it. Yeah, it's not a thing out hanging out there. It's in here. Yeah, and when we begin to um, ask 
ourselves questions about it, how we're moving and listening and observing these things come up. And yes, we have to deal with that. Okay? It's a good thing. Yeah? But I understand because we have to negotiate. And I also understand this because in the advanced work, we deal with that. This um, situation of having to do something, and even if it's, yeah, you're hurting yourself. Or you know that you have an injury or something, but you're going ahead and doing it anyway. It's your choice. It's important that we have a way to deal with it after. If we decide and choose to, to go and work with pain, okay. yeah. it's a big issue. I don't have all the answers about it. Yeah? Me too, have coming up from injuries and things. Yes? And it will change. Nothing is fixed. Do you practice the Christ on yourself? Yeah, I do it by myself. Yes. And sometimes I get together with colleagues of mine and we get each other lessons. <laughs> because we are all, um, there's a, a constant inflow of new, new lessons, different kinds of things that are happening. Um, I just got four new lessons about how to work with scoliosis, for example. They would love that even Fred doesn't have scoliosis. <laughs> But these things are going to get new, new material, yeah. 